And just like that, we have some new iPads. Apple just wrapped up their spring let loose Apple event. It was focused on iPads and they gave a new iPad Pro and iPad Air. So if you're excited, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, for starters, we got to talk about the new iPad Pro. The new iPad Pro did get more expensive starting at $999, which that was to be expected according to the rumor, according to the reports and all the rumors saying it's going to be more expensive this year. So at least we saw that before it actually happened. Didn't hit as hard, but still spending $1,000 on an iPad, yikes. That's expensive. I mean, at least they did up the storage to 256 for the starting price. So it was previously 128 gigabytes. So you get double the storage for a little more, a little more money you gotta pay. Um, but also with, while we're on the storage options, if you get the one terabyte option or higher, you get this new non-textured glass option. So it's gonna be like a matte finish. It's gonna be less visible with fingerprints. And it's something similar to the Pro XDR display that they sell really high-end expensive monitors that I have never seen. <laughs> so it's hard to say. What makes this iPad Pro so special is it is the lightest and the thinnest. I don't know about lightest, but I, I mean thinnest iPad or better yet, Apple device ever. Just coming in at 5.1 millimeters. The next highlight feature of this iPad is the new space black color option. They added that and it was a much needed improvement, you know, from the silver space gray options, they've been the same forever. And it's finally a true space gray. It's a deeper black and it looks really nice. And you can't forget about the processor. So previously M2 chip, and you would have thought M3, but no, they went straight to the M4, which is gonna give you more performance and more cores and CPU like improvements. Like it's just outstanding how they do this all the time. Um, really nitty gritty details, but basically new iPad faster. That's the simplest way to put it. But hey, if you wanna geek out on it, it's got four times faster, more performance than the M2 chip and up to 1.5 faster CPU performance. They also switched the vertical facing, front facing camera to a horizontal view. I don't know if you caught my videos about that or you heard the reports, but that was rumored and it did come true. So now when you take a FaceTime call or you take a selfie, if you have your iPad horizontally, which hopefully most people do, that's kind of like the main position of the iPad nowadays, um, it's not gonna be facing you and you're no longer gonna be looking off into outer space. Cause that's what the current one looks like when you're when you take a FaceTime call, it's like, high but your your eyes are going this way and it's like it's a little weird so now they fix that but in doing so they also made a, a little bit of a, a tough situation here so the apple pencil you're like will my old second generation work on it you know mm -mm, it's not gonna work no they actually pulled one on us and by that i mean they released a new apple pencil called apple pencil pro which has the haptic feedback you know, like basically your phone, when it vibrates, you get that feedback. That's that haptic feel that you feel. Man, that's on the pencil. It sounded weird when it came out, but it's the haptic feedback for the pencil, basically. And there's a few like gesture things with it. Um, if you care about that, here's it on the screen. And they're selling it for the same price, 129 However, it only works with the new generation. So say you have the previous generation iPad Pro or later generations, this new Apple Pencil Pro is only gonna work with the new stuff. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer. There's no compatibility between devices there. All right, now moving on to the iPad Air, which offers a great experience for a decent price. Now coming in two size options, the 11 inch and the 13 inch model, giving you basically what the iPad Pro is just at a cheaper price point. And by cheap, I mean like $7.99. <laughs> so it's not that far off, but hey, that's kind of like what the previous generation iPad Pro was. Kind of crazy how that works. 
but the air obviously doesn't have the OLED display panels and that kind of stuff. Oh, and yeah, I can't believe I forgot about that. The iPad Pro, both sizes have the OLED display panels, like the mini LED, liquid, crystal, whatever, retina, whatever Apple wants to call it. It got the mini LED, true deep blacks, and vibrant colors. But then when you look at the iPad Air, it's still got the LCD liquid retina display and it's not as sharp, but it's sharp enough. Design wise, the iPad Air did not change. However, just like the iPad Pro, they moved the, hor the vertical front facing camera horizontally. So that's definitely gonna be a noticeable and awesome improvement. But real short, that was exactly what happened at Apple's let loose May 7th Apple event. They did release these iPads, they'll be available next week. So you can go ahead and get those very shortly. So be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. I'm definitely curious of what you guys think. Did Apple make the right move? Did they do something that you did not expect? Be sure to let us know in the comment below. And without further ado, I'll keep you guys updated. And you guys can check out this playlist right over here. Stay up to date on all the latest Apple news. And I'll see you guys over there.